A local youth group from St. Peter's by the Sea recently returned from Mexico where they built a home for a family in need. Mark J. Dotty joins us with more. That's right, Maria. We're here at St. Peter's by the Sea where groups of kids work with a group called Amor to build homes for the less fortunate every year. But they make a difference in their lives every day. Last year, we um, built a house in Arizona on an Indian reservation through Amor Ministries. Um, however, because of insurance regulations in the United States, we couldn't go back, even though it would have been like a perfect trip. But what it led us to was going back to Mexico, where St. Peter's probably has like a 40-year tradition of going to Mexico and building houses. Um, so it was kind of a cool opportunity, um, kind of a, a flashback or a throwback um, to go ahead and build a house in Mexico um, with this year's youth group. It costs around eight thousand dollars, seven to eight thousand dollars, to build the structure that we're building. It was approximately four hundred dollars per student. Um, however, that doesn't cover the entirety of the trip. Um, the students do fundraisers, and then what we do is we sell uh, shares um, on the patio after two Sundays, um, and that's where uh, the majority of our our income comes from because in reality the trip would cost about $800 per student if we didn't fundraise and subsidize it. Amore has built um, tens of thousands of houses over the last 30 years um, and will continue to keep building in Mexico um, you know for as long as I can imagine. Yeah so we build the house in four days and it takes as little as 10 people, as many as 20, depending on the experience level of each builder or worker. Um, this year, we were blessed to have uh, just a ton of people want to come down and be a part of this. My first missionary trip ever. I was sawing the wood into the lengths, and I was pretty good at that, so I liked to stay at that station. My favorite part of the whole trip was seeing the house go from a piece of land to a, like a real house with a roof. We all get our work clothes on, like our jeans, get our tools and stuff, and then we all hop in our vans and like head up to the site and start building the house. I didn't really have any house building experience, but the Amor workers would like show us demos on how to build the houses. I work a lot on the house. Apparently I'm really good at hammering things. There are people near us, like so close to us, that are suffering so much more than we could ever imagine. And I think that's important to know about. We got to meet the family, so, and then there was a bunch of kids, we like played sports with them and stuff, so it was really cool to like build a house for them. The family that we built the house for, um, they were, uh, hugging and crying. It was just really emotional because um, they needed this house really badly and we had come to help them. But I think the thing about this trip that was so much different than all the other trips um, was being able to finish the house and hand the keys over to a family that we had been working with the entire week. I did feel like I did a good job. I think everybody should try and help. Maybe not exactly in that way, but every little act of kindness counts. I will definitely be going again. It was a lot of fun and I don't think I'd want to miss another one. Yes, 100% I would go on this trip again. Everyone felt a bit emotional as well because it's just like a big experience to know that you have given someone something as big a gift as a house. 